No. Oh, oh my, my God. God. The lackey. The oh lackey my of God. it all. Can you believe this? Hi. Hi. I'm Ashley. I'm Mitch. And this is our channel called Membriash. Yeah, which is mostly just like a combination of our names. Yeah. Um, in a way. And today we're watching the fourth episode of Bachelorette Jen. Yep. The season has been awesome. So if you were considering whether or not to watch Jen's Bachelorette season, as I was, I really, I was like, we're not watching it. I don't want to watch her as Bachelorette. I don't, I don't care. It's actually like... It's good. You can root for her, but there's also enough going on that there's drama. You yeah. Know, it's, a, it's a classic combination. It's, there's actually some really frustrating things happening here. Yeah, but she's a really good bachelorette. No, she's enjoyable to watch. She's been doing really good. Just because, like, production maybe made some choices with, like, who they picked for that. So the men are always yeah not great. That is what it Makes is. Makes TV, and that's what, that's what they're here doing. Also, you get that many people in, like, that age demographic together that are all good looking because this show is always like yeah everyone's always good looking and like i feel like three quarters of them are gonna suck yeah, that's like, true. yeah. <laughs> that feels that right to sense. me yeah. yeah and it's just like maybe they're a little more bombastic because they're on a tv show and the people are competing for like airtime and edits and maybe hopefully getting a side spin off you know bachelor in paradise kind of crap so there's a lot there's a lot at play i also think that and i'm not this is not an excuse for anyone's bad behavior but i also think these types of shows bring out people's kind the of worst, worst sides yeah because they're tired they're overworked they're in a situation where they're stressed out they're in a competition that also is like has this level of emotion yeah, yeah to yeah. it i don't think that people a lot of people don't show up particularly well on this in this type of an environment i do have a question did you respond to that person about who your favorite bachelorette no, is. No, I forgot. Also, all right, okay. So on air, here we go. <laughs> yeah, so someone had asked uh, who my favorite like bachelorette couple. They asked for both of ours, but the reality is I don't, don't, I don't know watch the show. enough I don't watch to know. Yeah. But like who our favorite uh, bachelorette couple is. And I had meant to respond, and I think in my brain I responded, but I didn't actually write it out. So um, I, Desiree and Chris, uh, like for me, is like the obvious answer. You don't know who these people are. But, you had um, to explain it to me. I was, like, okay. <laughs> I was like super skeptical of their relationship when she picked Chris because I thought that, you know, there was that other guy in her season that she was more into than she was into Chris. But I actually think he ended up being a very, very smart choice. And it's a good example of how sometimes lust can cloud your judgment and the person that is actually a better fit is maybe someone you don't have that same level of like lustful feeling yeah. for, but who makes sense for your life, who cares about you and you can develop like a deep, like emotional intimacy. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're my favorite. There you go. So yeah, what I, I'm curious for everybody else too. Do you have like, who are your favorite, I guess like couples that have come out of bachelorette or like bachelor nation too. So bachelor in paradise, has had a lot of calls. Obviously not Golden Bachelor. We'll ignore that as a... We'll ignore Golden Bachelor as an option. Yeah, but like uh, Bachelor in Paradise, yeah. Bachelor, the show, like what's who are your favorite couples that have come out of that? Because I'm curious. That's a... I thought it was a really great question. On that note, let's hop in. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah, we didn't even talk about this. Oh, yeah, the fact that her ex is coming back. Yeah, and I'm really hoping it's not one of her toxic exes because she's talked about how basically all of her major relationships were pretty, like not healthy. I'm hoping that maybe it was someone that she dated for a shorter period of time yeah. and it was really healthy and maybe they had to separate for one reason or another. Yeah. It's just like life got in the way and that it's not one of the people that hopefully she's talked about being really bad for her. We'll see. I'm always going to keep the main thing, the main thing. Oh, I hate, is he still saying that? I think he's trying to have a tagline. Yeah, right? People do that. He's so fake, dude. I he hate is that really guy. fake. Oh my god. I don't think he's realizing the edit that he's gonna get. I think yeah. he thinks because he's good looking, he's gonna get a great edit. Uh -huh. And because he is having a strong relationship, mm -hmm. whatever way you wanna frame that with, uh, right. with Jen, he's, he thinks he's getting, a, again, a protagonist edit. Mm -hmm. He's not. He's not. He's not. It's one of those times where you watch someone and you're like, how can this person not realize how they're coming off? And he's fighting with other contestants. Well, because he and... navigates every day this way, probably, and then gets away with it because there's not a camera following him around and editing right. it. Yeah. But then he does it on a TV show where other people have the power of the edit, and then suddenly you see that he probably walks through life every day like this. Bam, um, do you want to come? Absolutely. The only reason No, I... dude. Oh. Ew, no! Being my authentic self is one of four lines that Sam says. <laughs> Keep the main thing the main thing. Devin is brash. But he's, he's funny. on it with Sam. I would prefer 
10 out of 10, I prefer brashed over like someone who's not genuine. Yeah. I hope that he is forced to have to actually have a meaningful conversation at some point because I hope Sam really just blows his cover. I like that Let's Devin hope. is waiting yeah. for Sam to put his own foot in his mouth. And that's all you have to do too. That's I think that's like do. the difference between that and what Aaron or whatever he tried to do the other season yeah. is so he's just like he's like I'm not gonna come here and and, and pick fights I'm gonna focus on Jen and hope that Sam sabotages himself because he probably yep. will that's a way better yep. way of handling it I think if you have like an like a full yeah. concern about someone and it's like oh he's a dating somebody thing. oh yeah, yeah other than like he's I don't saying like crazy this shit. person yeah. right he's saying he doesn't like you yeah. he's saying he's not attracted he's, he's just saying here he's to gonna win. leave whatever like yeah. then I feel like telling the person makes sense but in Devin's situation he and Sam just don't like each other yeah, he just so it doesn't him. make any sense for him to go to Jen and be like I don't like this guy yeah. well, and then to the camera even he's like eventually he'll have to say something other than one of his four taglines and actually get to know Jen and that's that's an accurate depiction of what's happening here Yeah, it's what we're seeing <sighs> I don't oh. like how much joy you're getting out of me being freaked out. Jen has called him out twice in this date so far. I don't like how you're happy that I'm freaked out. And because he's like laughing about it. And then she said, this is this is our first date. The couch doesn't count. That is their dynamic, though. Yeah. And it almost feels like she likes that kind of like combative their play fighting yeah. kind of thing. But to me, that feels exhausting in a way where like eventually this becomes yeah. like you're fighting with him all the time. Yeah. Like, that's what it feels like this leads to for me. Once you stop having sex and you're just fighting. Yep. We would like to jump. Fantastic. Excuse me, this I'll is a, this is a awesome. two person decision. Because this isn't banter. Like, she has banter Look what's with happening other right now. She's like, you're making the decision for me to jump. That's absolutely Sam. Yeah. This is Sam written all over this shit. But it, this is the whole thing when people are like, oh, women like men that treat them badly. Like, that's what's happening with him. Do you know what I mean? Well, but I do think that she's being tried, treated badly and then recognizing it and being like, this is crap. And she's saying to the camera that she's not, she's, she's frustrated with yeah, it. Yeah, but I guarantee you he gets a rose at the end of this anyway. Do you Man. know what I mean? I guarantee you she jumps off that building despite telling him no. Which at this <sighs> oh, point, oh, it's so for exhilarating. Me, for me, a no is a no. Yeah. Like you ruined the experience and we're done. No. Yeah, yeah. But she's not going to do that. She's going to She's jump. on the show. Yep. Yeah. And she's going to give that asshole a rose. She's not sending him home over it, even yeah. though he's treating her badly. Way worse than anybody else on the show would treat her. We could hope. Right? Devin said maybe this is the first time somebody doesn't get a rose. I don't know. It's been a while since somebody hasn't gotten a rose on a date, but there's there's no way she's not giving him a rose. Absolutely. This is frustrating. And he just dug in when she was like, you made the decision for me. He and wasn't like, like I don't oh, care. I'm sorry. I didn't even think about it. Here's like, to grow. I assumed we were going to do it because we're on the show. Or yeah. like, I'm sorry. I should have checked in. No. At the end of the day, I want her to be comfortable, but I also want her to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And he's using like kind of BS language around like, like, yeah. like growth comes in discomfort, like, which is like a common thing. And it kind of makes sense. But he's like weaponizing some of that shit yeah. in order to justify him making a decision totally. for her. She's a f adult, not a child. So don't treat her yeah. like one. Also, like, I don't know. Maybe it depends on your personality type. But growth for me doesn't come from being forced to do things that I don't want to do that are superfluous. Yeah. You yeah. don't have to do this. It's also like you know? choosing something for yourself that makes you uncomfortable and right. then working through it. Yeah. Is different than being forced into a situation. Or sitting in the discomfort of something that maybe you didn't choose to do, but you have to, right? Yeah. Like if you're at work and you have a conflict with someone, you have to like deal with that yep. discomfort and get through it. This is not like that. This is yeah. something she could opt in or out of. And it's annoying the way he's treating it. Come over here and give me a kiss. Thank That's what I think so you should do. I am clearly terrified. Instead of comforting her, he's like, you should do more stuff when you're uncomfortable. He and sucks, then man. acting like a child when she's not. Look at him in that stupid I, suit. I'm not surprised he's good at hide so because if he's a contractor, he's up on like tall things all the time. Like, you know. That's actually a good point. You were on the roof the other day, and I tried to get on the roof, and I'm afraid of heights. And we have a ranch, a very short ranch yeah. home. And I got up there, and I was terrified. Yeah. And you were like, it's okay. Like, let me help you, like, get back to the ladder yeah. and get back down. Like, You're you freaked out like sweet. she is here. Like, yeah. panic attack, practically. Yeah. <laughs> and I helped you get off, and I was really nice. <laughs> and it was way dumber than this. Yeah. <laughs> but I wasn't like, you weren't come like, on, you got it. Right, yeah. Face your fears. Yeah, Growth. totally. No. And I also you forced you up there. You were like, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then when I was like, I think I could get back up, you were like, okay, but like, you don't have to. It, this does not feel like a date right now. It feels like Sam just wants to lean off a building because he's an adrenaline junkie. Yes. <laughs> 
absolutely, that is what's happening. Send his ass home. She's not gonna. I'm telling you. They're gonna make up and she's make out. She's literally about to cry, or she's crying right now. And he pushed her until she cried before he supported her. Well, Tony Sam did show up for me. Did he? Putting you in a compromised position and then ignoring your needs over and over again and then being there at the end feels a lot more like manipulation. He's not rescuing her. He put herself, he put her in that situation. I don't know that I, if I can like have an appropriate reaction to any of this because I hate him so much. I know, I but know. But like, it's really hard for me to separate my like feelings of disdain towards him and like look at his actions separately because yeah. I don't know how I would feel about this if this was someone I didn't dislike so much. I think when you feel safe and comfortable with your partner, anything can be possible. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I feel very safe and comfortable with you, but I still was panicking on the yeah, roof. Like, yeah. that's not... I don't know. Like, visceral, like, phobias. Yeah, it's not that it's easy. it's not, right. It's, like, mental illness at a certain point, you know? It's not just, like, this makes me nervous. It's, like, I'm having a physical reaction to this that I can't control. Am I happy that he did it once in my life? Yes. Will I ever be doing it again? No. <laughs> She jumped out of a plane, man. I know. That's way scarier. She's also more comfortable with that because Marcus made her more comfortable. Oh, she Marcus? didn't freak out and cry. Marcus is like, I've got you. He didn't minimize her feelings at all, even though he'd no. done it a thousand times. I might jump out of a plane with Marcus. Too, I guys. would jump out of a plane with Marcus. <laughs> Marcus, if you're there. <laughs> I don't want to jump out of a plane, but if I was going to do it with anybody, no offense, it'd be Marcus. No, I agree. I don't want to jump out of a plane with you either. Marcus, where are you at? We would both just be nervous yeah. as well, hyping each other up. Like, yeah, yeah. It'd be way worse with each other than it would be with somebody calm. I don't even do planes, man. Like, what's yeah. just jumping out of them? Right. Going into tonight, I really need to know if we can get deeper, if that emotional connection is there. So far, I've seen nothing to indicate that you can. No. Nothing. What I see for her in her life if she picks him is constant arguing. Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to tell people, we have the corn pillow from, I think this was in Perfect Match. This season. Because I was like, the corn pillow! Anyway, it's from Ikea, so. <laughs> so you too can own a corn yeah. pillow if you're near an Ikea. Wait, whose name wasn't called? Uh, Devin. <laughs> I, why, I was like, he's smirking there, but it's because, yeah, he didn't, yeah. He doesn't want to be too gleeful, I think, too, in front of the guys. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah. But he he's happy for himself. So the difference there is that he was smirking because he got something positive rather than laughing when yes. somebody else is having emotional pain. Absolutely. Like, he's allowed to smile there. And okay. it was a smirk, I think, instead of a full smile because I think he's trying not to be a dick. He didn't want to, like, guys, yeah, he right. absolutely didn't want to, like, But he boast. has big, he's bombastic. Like, he yeah. has big feelings. So, yeah. like, he can't that came on that, for him big. Yeah. yeah, I believe it. Today has been crazy. It's just, like, a constant roller coaster of emotion. <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try okay, okay. and just be, like, Let's try be objective. neutral. Okay. Like, it's not going to end up being neutral, but I'm going to try and be closer to neutral about this man. I'm going to sit here and contain my feelings until I just burst out in expletives and say yeah, I hate him. But I'm going to try. <laughs> I'll try. Okay. I'm going to shut up and listen. We're going to watch this one. Let's hope for the best. Okay. Right? Yes. For a long time, I felt like I wasn't worthy of anything. I wasn't worthy of true love. It is weird how much she is opening up on this date and how little he is saying. And on one hand, it's like... It feels like a red flag for him. And then on the other hand, I feel like often when I see these, it's the guys desperately telling her things and like fo yeah. forcing her to listen. I do like that Sam's listening. I want him to contribute to the conversation in a way that isn't just like mirroring. Yeah, you know? for him to be more emotionally yeah. available to her because she is doing that for him. That moment that I started to really feel and really know that I wasn't being chosen was such a gut punch. He's showing up pretty good. Yeah, he's doing okay here. I don't like him, but he's showing up pretty good. I mean, where we're trying to be objective, I think so far this date is all right. First half of the date was rough. The yeah. second half is like, I'm glad that he's opening up. I'm glad she feels comfortable opening up with him. I still don't like him. I still don't trust him. I still don't trust him either. <laughs> they're like uh, cows that have been let out to pasture for the first time in the summer. At first, they're a little hesitant. Yeah. And then they all start galloping. <laughs> like, what was that? Did you see that? I think they looked at each other and they were like, who's going to get there first? It's <laughs> going to be me. And then they all ran. That was hilarious. That was funny. It looks like we're playing some rugby today. I'm going to win this game. I'm coming for that group date, Rose. Sam's energy is so frenetic. I love it. <laughs> I'm so glad he's yeah. not. He was so downtrodden. It says Jen's husband. Manifestation, baby. It's a little creepy. It's a little too much. It's, it's a little, a little much, much. It's a little much, Sam. <laughs> I like Sam showing up. I just wish he was showing up for someone who who liked him a little more than Jen does, you know? Yeah. 
And I think part of his problem is that he doesn't like temper very well. Yeah. He's like, he's like very reserved or he's like, we're getting married. I love you. Mm -hmm. Like, and that isn't too much. Yeah. Yeah. I know he walked back the love comment, but I don't know. He does have a tendency to like, he's, he's a wild swinger with his emotions. Yeah, he is. Which like, I get. And like this, these are extenuating circumstances. Too. It's a weird so. situation to be in. Salmon is rubbing me the wrong way in particular. He's walking ahead of everybody, chip on his shoulder, trophy in his hand. The leather jacket and the the jersey, like he's being a little extra. Oh my God. He he went like, he, he went in a weird direction. He sees other people like doing this shit and he's kind of- I'm gonna get out my first kiss with my wife. Oh, what's okay. happening? Okay, all right. I this take is... it all back. It's too much. It's getting very uncomfortable. It's very weird. Why? What is wrong? Why, though? <gasps> you believe in manifestation? Oh, I mean, that could work for multiple Sams. He should have put Sam N's wife on there, <laughs> not Sam's wife. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, he's going to try and go in for a kiss and get denied, right? Do you think? Oh, no. Sam N. <laughs> I don't like watching embarrassing things on TV. <laughs> Honestly, Sam N's entire time on the show is kind of hard to watch. I felt bad for him when he was getting bullied by those other guys. Yeah, he didn't deserve that for sure. I'm on that boss bitch energy, hot energy only. What is he even saying? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. It's very weird. Am I going for that kiss? Don't do it, Sam. <sighs> Ew. <laughs> don't do it. Ew. My name is amazing. How's your day? This is so much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's something she loved doing. Yeah. And it's just like some basic passes, but you know, you get that familiarity. I think it's cool too that he like picked something that he knew was a commonality between the yeah. two of them. He knows she enjoys. He checked in with her. He did. He gave her an opportunity to play and have fun. And that he got a cool. kiss out of it. I because... like Jonathan. And he admitted that Sam N was annoying, but he yeah. didn't get weird and he's, he's not getting aggro about him. it. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yo, Sam, come take a seat. Oh no, he's not gonna handle it well. They're being upfront though after they were talking about it. And I respect yeah. Grant for bringing too. him to the table. Yes, I agree. He's saying I'm proud of you for what you did today. This episode's crazy uh, and stuff's happening. And we're gonna take a quick ad break. I don't mean this out of any disrespect. You're talking about me when you have one conversation as that's with Jen. No, they also <sighs> have to live in the house together. And yeah. they're confronting him. They're not going to Jen with it. They're telling him, hey, yeah. like your attitude is like too much. And I almost feel like Sam N is like like adopting the conversation that was happening around Devin and then like taking that energy and being like that's his his battle now. Yeah. You know, his narrative. And when it's like literally every guy there is like, yo. And he's in a room full of people that I actually think are like this is a supportive conversation. This is like a, yeah. like, I'm telling you because I care about you, not, not because attacking I'm attacking him. you. Exactly. And actually the way Grant brought it out to begin with was really cool. He's like, yo, yeah. you, you were really showing up today, but like now in yeah. other ways you're not. Yeah. And, and there, if anything, it, it is a supportive conversation. It's almost, it's weird. Cause it's like another element to this where you have to be able to get along with all these people, not because you're there for them, not because like they're the end game, but because otherwise your living situation and every day yeah. is harder than it needs to be yeah. and more stressful than it needs to be. Cause you're right. That's the bulk of the time they're spending. They're not spending with her. They see her for what? A few minutes every day, mm -hmm. not even every day, yeah. every yeah. couple days. Yeah. Somebody said the person that, that the bachelor bachelorette picks at the end usually ends up having spent 24 to 48 hours total with the person before getting engaged. <laughs> And, <laughs> and oh that is a number that's like, holy crap, it makes sense. Why, like, that is I don't know, it's so complicated. But then every other minute, they're around the guys. I wanted people to be there for you. I bet he really struggles to let people in. He's already been really vulnerable. It's also gotta be hard. You're talking to her for five, 10 minutes and you don't know if some other guy is gonna come interrupt you while you're having a vulnerable conversation. Yeah. And then you have to go back into a room of children fighting. Yeah. You know? So it would be hard to shift into like an emotional headspace and then immediately have to shift out of that to go yeah. back. Also, just what you said about like the limited amount of time they spent yeah. together, you got to be careful with who you do that with. And it might be a little early for him to be doing that with Jen, honestly. Yeah. yeah. She might need to be a little bit more invested in the relationship before they're going to get to that point. Yeah. Maybe I'm just asking for a little room right now. He has some amazing qualities. He really does. He's so great. Somebody said, Marcus, don't oh. do The Bachelor after this. They're not going to respect you enough or something like that. Like, run. <laughs> he would, they would have, casting would have to get him some amazing women. I think they could do it, though. They would have to be, like, all five-star Yeah. Women. Like, you right. know what I mean? 
Yeah. We cannot let Marcus down. No. <laughs> Marcus is a gem. He is a gem. He's so great. Even him just asking for that, like, mo- like I need that more time. Space. I need, yeah, I yeah. need space. Was so healthy and yeah. awesome. He didn't like expect her to and give it to him. And then they embraced. Oh, that it was, was so, so good. Good from both of them. Their relationship is so healthy. So I'm Tom. Oh, Thomas N. The way he came up to him. Do you see him grab his arm like that? Inappropriate. I got, I got a bone to pick with you. Oh, oh God, Thomas. Thomas. How does this, what you're doing right now, oh my. improve your relationship with Jen? You go from crying to having to watch these children fighting. This is awful. Like, look what Grant did to compare to what Thomas N is doing. And he touched him. Yep. I'm sorry, but never do not touch me. He he grabbed him by the arm, said, I have a bone to pick with you, yelled at him to shut up. Yeah. Like His communication style is terrible. He should go home. I'm sorry, honestly, but he shouldn't. Yeah. Neither of these people should be here, but Thomas N, no. He wasn't having it. He wasn't having it because the way that you brought it to him was terrible. I'm going to keep the main thing the main thing. Oh, my God. And she wants that ferocious love. No. Oh, oh my, my God. God. The lackey! The oh lackey of it all! Can you believe this? Oh my god! Did you hear that? <laughs> I just felt a little ill. I felt a little ill hearing the that. The lackey, dude! I, Holy oh cow! Oh my god, dude. Get your oh own my gosh. Sing, bro. Sam M has Thomas brainwashed. I know. What is going on? There's like some Andrew on. Tate shit going on over oh here. Oh my man. god. Okay, so they were separate and then they yeah. met in the States. Yeah. Okay. So both my parents were fostered when they came to the US. Oh no, no. Sam N is going to interrupt. Are they going to uh, get a fist fight? I don't know. I don't know. Oh I don't my know. god. I, I like hate it. this. I don't like it. Bring Marcus back. Bring Marcus back. Hey. Can I have a moment with you? Can you give me like five minutes? Oh man. No. <laughs> and now he's gonna come in here and try to shove his tongue down her throat. I. No. Oh my God. Send the ends home. Send home Sam N. Sam. Send home <laughs> Thomas, Thomas N. And I really want to take our relationship to the next step. No. 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 no, no, no. no. Sam, she's gonna say no. I admire how open you are. And- oh, Jen. But I'm not kissing you. Just tell him no. I just don't know if I can see us getting there. Thank you, Jen. You are a consummate professional, Jen. I'm gonna have to walk you out if that's okay. I respect that decision. It takes a lot of guts to say that. He's handling it really well. Yeah. yeah. He's handling it really well. Really well. Thank God, honestly. That got so messy. That was so stressful. I'm leaving here confused. Honestly, the only thing that would make his look better is a fedora. <laughs> <laughs> right? What is he going for? I don't know. It's like a James Dean right? thing. Like, I'm not sure. And he's giving fedora energy right now. Yeah. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I got my own salmon over here. No, that's horrible. <laughs> How dare you? Marcus, will you accept this rose? Yeah. Oh, Marcus got the rose. Yes, Marcus. I like that hold on, too. Hold on, hold on. We need space for my pillow. You need space to move over. Space for the car. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! What are you talking no, I'm about? Kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Really bringing that salmon energy yeah, in here. Yeah. She makes me feel like it's safe to open up. I like too that he got the rose, and he also like didn't. She asked him for something and he didn't wasn't able to give it to her. Yeah. You know? And he still he got still the still got the rose because he was honest. It was her way of saying, I value who you are, I value the time you need, yeah. I value the communication you bring. He's yeah. already been incredibly vulnerable with Absolutely her. Absolutely he has. The Maori culture here is deeply rooted in New Zealand. So I'm excited to learn more about it with you. Ooh. Oh, they're doing more like local cultural stuff. Isn't what she said basically that like learning about like native culture oh, in yeah. places that she travels yeah. is like really important to her? I really respect that. Me too. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, that's that was one of the coolest reasons to travel yeah, someplace absolutely. is to inundate yourself in in local culture yeah. and to learn about it and, yeah. and not like like parasitize it or whatever right. but like I do like that they're 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 here in New Zealand and they're focusing on the native people of New Zealand. Yeah, that is cool. Versus, I really like, like that. so often. I mean, like my exposure is mainly to things like Hawaii because we live in the Pacific Northwest, but like. Um, I'm used to a lot of people going there and staying at, like, these big resorts, yeah. not respecting Native people there, um, like, not 
immersing themselves in yeah. the culture at all. Or they take it and yeah. adopt it as their own it. rather yeah. than Absolutely. like just honoring it and appreciating yeah. it for what it is. For sure. Yeah, because it's like there's amazing culture out there. It's not right. your culture. Yes. Unless it is, you right. know? Like, exactly, yeah. You know, I'm happy, man. I couldn't be more happy in this moment, to be honest. Oh. It's cool. I believe him. Yeah. I know some people were like, he doesn't seem that into her. I don't see that. Yeah. I think he seems very into her. They seem comfortable, like, enjoying yes. and learning together. He was a good person to pick for this, I Yeah. Because he's not afraid to, like, try new things. Not uh -huh. afraid to fail at things. Like... He's really comfortable when he doesn't have people coming aggro against him. Yes. Like... It's gotta be hard to be in a scenario where you feel misunderstood, and I feel like almost every season of this, whether it's Bachelor or Bachelorette, there's someone that ends up, like, very misunderstood. On Joey's yeah. season of Bachelor, it was Maria. And it's, like tough i think to be in that kind of a scenario it's already hard and then to feel like an entire group of people doesn't like you and misunderstands mm -hmm. you as a person has got to be just awful and we'll take your leave from here yeah. thank you so much yeah. where he's showing up loud and kind of brash everywhere else he's kind of he's not meek here but he's he's respecting his turn to talk yeah. and i don't know I, I like i like the way this date has gone just the way she looks at me man <laughs> i like Devin a lot Devin and Marcus are my front runners. Yeah. I like some of the other guys too, but I think the connection that she has with both of them is really yeah. strong. And they're leading with relationship building. I grew up in a tough environment. I used to always idolize my father. Well, and then that kind of complicated childhood is going to resonate with her too, because she yep. has what divorced parents and complicated, complicated relationship with dad. Yes. Yeah. I feel like Devin and I have a very unique connection that not a lot of people can understand. It is nice when you find people that, like, share some of those mm -hmm. commonalities. Because you and I have talked about that yeah. before. It can like, be difficult because you don't have, like, the secure person necessarily. But, like, right. people have a lot of family trauma. Yeah. Generational trauma in particular. Yeah. And we can bond over it. In yeah, way. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And you it feel feels understood. safer yeah. to share some of those things with somebody that you know is going to have some level of, like, understanding of what that is. Mm -hmm. It can be hard sometimes if somebody doesn't understand at all. Mm-hmm. And, and that's, like, what she's finding with him as well, both of them having, like, complicated relationships with their dads. For the longest time, I did invest in guys who weren't invested in me. I think you also learn to put up with certain things. If that's, like, mm -hmm. a pattern that you've been exposed to, it's, like, harder to see that it's problematic yeah. in other people. Because Definitely. it's what you know. I'm falling for you, and I'm not afraid to say it. I don't know if anyone's ever said that to me before. What? Literally, Sam N said that on stage. That was she didn't like the way he said it though. That was bad. <laughs> but she's what we were seeing here. She actually believes it, and she's appreciating it here. Yeah, and she understands that she thinks that he's saying that from an earnest, yes. understanding place, and from a place of like connection. Like they yeah. actually connected. He has a reason to say that. Yeah, Devin. Will you accept this rose? Without a doubt, I will. Oh, I'm happy for them. That's so cute. Their conversations just feel so much more sincere and believable to me. Oh, they're so cute. Looks like a great date. It does look like a great date. Normally the singing is really uncomfortable, but that guy's far enough away. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> it feels less weird. Look, my goal is just to kind of meet you here just talk to you a little bit is that okay they're kind of vetting him first to make sure he's not like a crazy stalker which honestly yeah. is kind of sounding like one right now that's kind of what jesse's saying to him like this isn't normal brah now i'm here to tell jen that i still love you and that i'm here to show you that on again off again relationship for years which could be one of the toxic situations or could just be they were weren't in a situation where they were like in a place to be able to formally date but that sounds a little i want to have the best belief right now but yeah. i don't trust this guy and they're, they're just wait here jen we're gonna feel because she's used to waiting around for filming all the time yeah so it's easy to do do they not give her any heads up though? no this they're man totally just, blindsiding that sucks they should. I, yep. don't, I don't like that. They should have vetted it with her first. They should have asked if she even wants to see this man. I was really looking forward to this trip to Colombia with you, and I went for a few days, and it wasn't the same without you there, and I blew off both the weddings. So they had international weddings that they were maybe going to go to together until she got chosen? That's weird. I don't love that. That sounds like a much more serious, like, situation. You went to both the weddings? They... They know each other very well. Did they date? Then they were like kind of f buddies for a long time, but like sort of friends with benefits or something. The last, say, few months have have felt different. I feel like we've been able to connect on a deeper. Like right before she came on the show. 
the implication is they've been friends for a while though before she came like basically yeah. she went on Joey's season they weren't really dating anymore but she's friends with her ex I also feel like the implication is like they've been more than friends this yeah. whole time like maybe friends, not the whole but time but friends who are sleeping together or friends that have some kind of romantic relationship my intentions are to be with you and I want to continue this journey together. And she's not getting off the show now. She signed up for it, bro. You can see that there's a degree of comfort here between yeah. them. But there's also obvious discomfort with her and her being like, this wasn't even an option for yeah. me. I don't know why we're here right now. All right. How do you feel about uh, the new guy? New guy who's the old guy. I feel like it's always a little bit convenient. He had to have known that she was going on the show. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly, like... Last minute, he's hopping on. Like, I don't know. It's a little weird. He it's went to the weird. wedding in Cartagena. Yeah. And then, like, just flew over. And it literally sounds like they had plans to be in Cartagena together for the beginning of the show, which makes me a little bit... Weird? I would be, like... It would be disingenuine for me to say that I don't feel weird about it. Mm -hmm. And if it you was mean a Jen's different participation yeah, in absolutely. whatever's going on here. Absolutely. And I know that she's like a person and it could not be weird, but I just kind of feel like if this were happening and it was like the bachelor instead of the bachelorette. Going with her his like former Yeah partner it just feels, now friend right. kind of strange. It just feels a little bit weird. But then at the same time, I guess like if you can't if this guy wasn't committing and she's like, I'm ready to be committed and I'm yeah. ready to move forward, I don't know. The timing just feels strange to me. I mean, it kind of feels like he just wants to be on the TV show. Kind of. Like And clearly he had never like him saying I love you to her took her aback. I've said it time again. Again, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I love you. Right. Like it but is. But she seemed weird. very taken aback. Like, by oh, that. okay. No, oh, she even okay. said his name, like Matthew yeah. or whatever. Right. Yeah, yeah. She's like, okay, bro. Yeah. But then the idea that you're going to get engaged to someone that you've only spent 24 to 48 hours with. Uh, she knows this guy better than every single person yeah, on the show. Yeah, she knows him yeah. better than everybody. Like, she at least lets him on the show because we see him in a suit. Yeah. And I don't know if he goes to the first row ceremony or if he makes a couple of them. I don't know. That's how it normally goes with this stuff. Is that Has it happened before? Like mm -hmm. like old flames coming on or something? Yeah. yeah. Well. Right. Kind of puts a damper on things, honestly. Yeah. I want to well, get done. Well, this episode's long and uh, I got to try and repair the roof <laughs> after we got rained on. I took the shingles off. It's kind of a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Um, so love to hear your thoughts on all this. Uh, I guess we'll be seeing next more time. about this new guy on next episode. Yes. Um. And tell us what you think about all the dates and everything. Yes. Tell us what you think. And um, does it also make you feel weird? I don't know. Is this not weird? I need to process. Weird? I, yeah, can't, like, I, like, I can't. I can't make statements right I now. I feel really. very confused, I need, to, I need to talk to my lawyer, <laughs> <laughs> my PR team. <laughs> but yeah, tell me what you think, because maybe it'll help help me figure out like what my like garbled mess of thoughts uh -huh. actually are on the situation. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Bye. bye. Oh, then I got it knocked oh. and I started going, Wah! ridiculous. All those tear jerkers. Hey, we're going to go on a cruise this summer. You should come with us.